Okay, I've got to record a YouTube video, buy a birthday present for my mum from Amazon, pick up my kid from school and email my boss about my vacation. That's sick. You know when you think of a task and then you forget it like 10 seconds later? Well, Superlist fixes that with its clever AI listening feature. But is it just a gimmick or is there more depth behind this app? Welcome back to the Feel Productive channel. My name's Ez. Let's get into it. Superlist is a modern to-do list app built by the same team that created Wonderlist, so you know it's got pedigree. It combines a beautifully minimal interface with some seriously smart AI features. You can capture tasks by just talking or even pull them straight from your meetings. And it works seamlessly across mobile, desktop and web. And it's built for both solo productivity and for team collaboration. Think of it like a next-gen Todoist, but cleaner, faster and way more intuitive. So the AI features really do make this app stand out over and above the competition. You can press the talk button and just tell the AI all of the things you need to get done. And as you saw from the intro, it works really, really well. It doesn't just take what you say verbatim, it actually summarizes things in a much more concise manner. You can also record meeting summaries on the Mac app, which is basically just as simple and does a great job in listening to both virtual and face-to-face -face meetings and captures and summarizes things just like ChatGPT would. There's also one more really cool AI feature I'll get into in just a minute. Another thing I really love about this is that it does remind me of Wonderlist in that the core app experience is super, super clean. It's creating a task just feels fast and frictionless and no weird pop-ups or clunky menus, just type and go. And you can organize your lists into different sections and everything looks you know, polished. The design really makes you want to keep things tidy. It's right up there with things free in terms of how slick it feels to use. If you're working with others, you can easily share lists, assign tasks and comment on them. So it's just as useful for small teams as it is for solo use. It also handles the basics like labeling, due dates and creating repeat tasks without getting in your way. And honestly, if you've been using things free or Todoist or even Apple reminders, mechanically, this will feel really familiar to you. Now there's a lot I like about Superlist. There's so much they get right in this app. And unlike most apps that claim to use AI, this one actually does something useful with it. Now the lists in Superlists are really the stars of the show because within a list, you can actually create more than just to-dos. You can also create like a block-based notepad. And the options you get for formatting are actually really, really good. I actually, I'm really impressed by the options that you have and the fact that you can keep most of your day-to-day -day activity just within Superlist. And you can also create sublists within lists that just keep going and going and going and just creating sublists within more sublists. So it can get as complicated or as simple as you'd like it to be. Basically, a list is just a blank canvas for ideas and you can make it as useful as you want it to be. And there's one feature that I mentioned before with the AI stuff that I really, really love. And it's the, the make button to prompt the AI to generate pretty much anything. So you press the make button and then just give it a prompt like you would in like ChatGPT or another chatbot. For example, I typed plan a five day trip to London suitable for a family of four with two young children. I want it to be a mixture of indoor and outdoor activities centered around keeping the children entertained. And it instantly built out an itinerary with hotel bookings, sightseeing ideas, and even a packing checklist. Superlist also integrates really well with other tools. You can forward emails straight into Superlist and the AI will extract actionable tasks from the message. You can also do the same thing with Slack messages, turn those into to-do tasks from Slack. There's also a calendar integration so you can see all of your upcoming events and tasks side by side. And it syncs really seamlessly across all of your different devices, whether you're on mobile, desktop, or jumping between the two, everything stays in sync. Oh, by the way, the meeting capture feature, which I really, really love, is only on the Mac at the moment. You can't do that on your phone, but it is very, very good. When you start recording a meeting, you can then prompt the AI as it's recording to say things like, I zoned out, can you please recap the last three minutes? 
and all these other kind of cool prompts whilst you're recording to get you up to speed, which I think you'll find useful if you're in a lot of meetings and sometimes you do zone out or you can't remember what the last question was. There are definitely lots of cool features that are geared towards professionals who are in meetings all day. Big thanks to Superlist for sponsoring this video. As always, they haven't seen it before upload and had zero say in what I say. All opinions are entirely my own. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech and productivity content. I know you want to. Okay, so like with most apps, they're not without missing features or things that you yourself would like. And for me, when reviewing the app and I'm using it now as my daily driver, there's no dedicated upcoming view on the sidebar. You've got to go to tasks and then go to upcoming. It feels like that's too many touches from just being quickly at a glance to see what's up and coming in your week. There's also a small thing which is kind of annoying where you can't manually reorder tasks in the today view. If you like prioritizing by dragging things around, that's not possible right now. I actually use labels to segment my most important tasks with my least important. Another small thing is I wish I could filter the day widget by label on the iPhone. Again, you can't just like filter out what you want to see on the widget. And I'd also like to be able to multi-select and bulk edit task attributes because doing them one by one can get tedious when you've got a really long list. And whilst the integrations are improving and they are really good, they are still limited. Uh, you've got calendar and email integration, but that's with Google Calendar and with Gmail, not with any other type of email or calendar provider. And if you're planning to use AI meeting summaries a lot, there's a cap on the pro tier where you're limited to 30 meeting notes per month, up to 15 hours in total. So that's probably fine for most people, but if you're in back-to-back -back meetings every day, you might need to upgrade to the higher plan and it can get quite expensive. So if you want a to-do app that listens and has these really smart AI features, then Superlist is genuinely worth trying. It's one of the few apps that blends these smart features with clean, distraction-free design without overwhelming you with complexity. I'd say it's perfect for creatives, remote workers, and productivity nerds like me who want something more intuitive than Notion, more modern than Todoist or Apple Reminders, but still with the same great user experience that Things Free offers. Right now, Superlist is free to use with a pro tier that gives you access to all of the AI features and a few other smart features. And honestly, for most people, the free version is more than enough to get started as just a basic to-do app. I do think 13 pounds a month is worth paying for, mostly for the AI meeting summary feature and the talk to task feature. And I'd say even if you use these features like five or 10 times in a month, the return on investment on time saved alone would make it worth it. So if you're bored of traditional to-do apps, then Superlist might just be the fresh take you've been waiting for. By the way, if you want to see my thoughts on the most beautifully crafted note-taking app out there, I'll leave a link to that video at the end of this one. I'll see you there.